Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I'm gonna be talking about the BC Lottery today. But before I do that, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue to follow my musical obsession. All right, so Bobby Z over at the Zematorium, I'm gonna leave his link below, is hosting the VC Lottery. Now, what is this? Basically, um, everybody uh, who volunteered to be in this lottery gets a letter of the alphabet. So there are 26 letters. And then I think he does numbers or whatever for anybody else past the, li uh, past the alphabet. Um, and we, we each get a letter. So I'm the letter Y, okay? Now, anybody who enters this contest, and if they win, all the people that volunteered to give a gift will send that person a gift uh, th with the theme of their letter. So like whoever wins, I will send that person anything music related that begins with the letter Y. So maybe I'll send them, yes, Tales from Topographic Oceans. I don't know. That's just an option. We could send CDs, T-shirts, posters, DVDs, records, uh, cassettes, eight tracks, anything music related. So the person who wins this contest is going to get like 26 plus VCLTs. It's, it's amazing. So enter this contest. You still have till July. Um, again, please check out Bobby Z's channel. He's been in the VC for a long time. Great guy. Love his sense of humor. I just love that he just has the ability to just say whatever he wants to say. And he just doesn't care. And that's that's really refreshing to see sometimes. Because I think some of us sometimes, including myself, hold back. Robert Z just says it. And that's what I love about him. He's a great guy. Great member of the VC. And uh, he's so kind to host this lottery and I tell you what what an incredible prize to receive um, so check out his channel he's got all the rules I'll leave it below um, a couple videos on it so if you have any questions about it check out that information so um, this is a VCLT themed contest now I already did a, a video uh, for Aaron Mutha Alamere he had a VCLT themed contest as well and I showed a bunch of stuff that I've received now Everybody in the VC has been so generous. Uh, if I was to show everything that I've received, we would be here for a couple hours because everybody is so generous. My collection has grown because of you guys. I have so many cool artists and albums that I never would have had if it wasn't for you. So I appreciate it. I love getting VCLT. I also love to give VCLT. It's so much fun to, to give something to somebody they open it, you see their reaction, their smile, their surprise, their wonderment, and you're like, yeah, that's what it's all about. And it's interesting because a lot of times I receive things, and that's this that's what this video is all about. I receive things that I never would have probably bought for myself, either because I don't know the artist, or maybe for whatever reason, uh, you know, it just would have not been purchased by me for whatever reason. But I've received VCLT, you know, centered around this theme, and I end up really, really liking these artists. And it just goes to show you, the people out there, you guys, you probably know my musical taste sometimes better than I do. And you probably know what I'm going to like just from the videos that you watch. So thank you again. So my theme today is to show you some stuff that I've received as VCLT that... Um, were bands that were introduced to me that maybe I never had heard of before, or I maybe would never have bought an album by them uh, if it wasn't for this VCLT. So here we go. Let's get into this. Um, the first one is a band called Khan, and this is sent to me from Anthony Ferraro. So thank you, Anthony Ferraro. And this is uh, an album called Space Shanty. Okay, now this has Steve Hillage on guitar and vocals. Who is Khan? Khan is a progressive rock band. I would never have known about them if it wasn't for Anthony Ferraro. Now, Anthony Ferraro has guest starred on some VC videos, but he doesn't really make his own VC videos. But I know he comments on my videos, comments on other people's videos, and uh, he is a member of the VC. He just doesn't really make a lot of videos. Uh, really cool guy, though. Um, Khan never would have heard about them or known about them probably if it wasn't for Anthony Ferraro. So thank you, Anthony. Progressive Rock 70s, check it out. Next, um, George Allen 
over George Allen LPs and CDs. He sent me some cool stuff too. But this was something I had never heard of before. This is Masayoshi Fujita. Okay. And uh, yeah, I never would have known about this. This is instrumental, ethereal music. Masayoshi plays the vibraphone. Really, really interesting music. Unique. I love it. Atmospheric. Never would have known about it if it wasn't for George. So George, thank you so much. This was great VCLT. Um, Aaron Mitha Alamer sent me a whole bunch of stuff, but he's been pushing clutch on everybody. I would never have probably bought a clutch record because, and here's the reason why. Um, I saw clutch open for Iron Maiden back in the day. And for whatever reason, I didn't really like them that much. So I kind of gave up on them. I never really listened to them. And then I kept hearing Aaron talk about them. He sent me VCLT, and now they're becoming one of my favorite bands. I love Clutch. So thank you, Aaron. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't own any Clutch stuff. Thank you. All right. Gary over at Physical Format. He sent me some cool stuff, too. But this is an artist I would never have known about, Tanya Donnelly. And this is Tanya Donnelly and the Parkington Sisters, okay? This is a covers record. And um, I wanna tell you how cool this was because um, Gary knows that I like Michael Nesmith. Well, these girls cover Michael Nesmith's different drum on here. Um, they also do Leonard Cohen's Dance Me to the End of Love and a whole bunch of other stuff. Really, really great music. Never would have known about this. Probably never would have bought it if it wasn't for Gary and VCLT. So thank you. Uh, Jeff Witcher over at Vinyl Destination got me a Jeff Buckley album. Now, I've seen this. I've heard Jeff Buckley. I probably just never would have bought this for myself. You know, I, even after all the praise that it's received, for whatever reason, it just wasn't on my radar. Well, he sent it over to me, and I love it. Okay, so again, he does, uh, he's, this album is known for uh, Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, but there's so much other good music on this album. And uh, every time I spin this, I'm like, yeah, thank you very much, Jeff. And it, oh, Jeff Buckley, Jeff Witcher. Hmm, is there a connection? I just never would have bought this for myself, but I love it. And the last one, uh, JC over at Flipside Vinyl sent me this lovely lady. Karen Dalton, it's so hard to tell who's going to love you the best. This was a Black Friday release. I didn't know this artist. I probably would never have bought this for myself, but JC knows me. He knows how I love folk music. He knows how I love sort of uh, music with jazz textures to it and uh, acoustic music. And this is what Karen Dalton is. She has such a unique voice similar to Billie Holiday. Just great music. This is sort of Sunday kind of love music. Throw it on, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and enjoy it. Okay, so again, guys, I've received so much stuff. If I was going to show everything, again, we would be here for two hours because everybody is so generous. I thank you, thank you, thank you. But I wanted to concentrate on maybe some artists that I never would have heard of before if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. Check out Bobby Z. Check out the idea of the VC lottery. Enter. You still have till July. And uh, hey, we'll see who wins. And as I said, this is going to be a huge, huge prize. 26 plus prizes. All right, guys.